58% of gamers are under the age of 34. I'm 21, so I'll play a part in the 58%. I'm pretty sure most of us out of the 58% are living on a budget, if not broke, just like me. But I'm blessed enough to say that this video is sponsored by Gameloft. Asphalt 9 is a free to download arcade racing game on Xbox, PC, Nintendo Switch, and mobile. You can basically play anywhere and everywhere. You can drift, do 360s, and use your nitro to grief other players. Off the rip, I'm sure you noticed the graphics, huh? Yup, I was thinking the same. It's insane. It doesn't stop there, there are endless amounts of cars you can unlock and choose from. Personally, my favorite is the whole category of Lamborghinis. If not, you can join my club and challenge me. Get started by downloading the game through the QR code on the screen or the link down below in the description. Once again, thank you Game Love for sponsoring this video. Gaming centers have evolved and popularized throughout the year, especially during the start of COVID. You guys came to this video for a reason. We aren't trying to build the best or the most expensive gaming setup. We're trying to build a budget-friendly setup. Before we get started, I hope you guys show some love to Logan, aka Lo. He's helped me tremendously with the setup and also moving into Vegas, so none of this would be possible without him. Anyways, let's get started. You cannot beat IKEA's Alice drawers. The quality, durability, and easy installation for the price of $90? I went with two white Alice drawers, and since Logan has built a handful of drawers, we decided to see how fast he can build one drawer. Mm. Oh shit, I didn't even know the camera was right here. You don't slap my ass like that. I can. Do it. What are you doing? Look. Where? Ah. We followed up with some desk risers. You can either go with the 2 inch or the 4 inch risers. After having my setup for longer than a month, I kind of regret not getting the 4 inch. Since most of my accessories are mounted to my desk, it's kind of hard to maneuver around my desk, especially towards the back. At the end of the day, it's all personal preferences. For the final piece of the desk, we have a countertop. If we're going to get IKEA drawers, we might as well go all the way. Yeah, damn. That shit giving me PTSD. Reminded me when I was What the f I went with a 74 inch countertop for IKEA. Why countertop? Most tabletops are made from cheap wood and coating, so they tend to easily break. Don't forget that countertops are a lot more heavy, so don't forget to get some support in the middle of the desk. The total cost of the desk setup is about $292. Yes, it's kind of pricey, but I didn't want anything breaking on me anytime soon. You're basically paying for the quality and durability in the long run. Monitors and mounts. Make sure to plan out how you want your monitors laid out. This is what we're doing with the current mounts that I have. And then update, you know, those. God, damn. We ended up changing the mounts after installing them because the layout wasn't cooperating with the mounts. For the stacked monitors at a price of $60, I went with the Vivo Extra Tall Vertically Stacked Dual Monitor Desk Mount. For the third monitor, I got a Vivo Single Mount for about $25. Keep in mind, I had these monitors from my previous setup in New Orleans. And if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I suggest you guys go check that out. This is a little extra, but since I do this as a living, I kind of went overboard. For my main monitor, I have a BenQ 24-inch 240Hz monitor. For my top monitor, I have an Asus 24-inch 180Hz monitor. For my third monitor, I have a Scepter Curve 27-inch 185Hz monitor. The mounts came out to a total of $85. You can find cheaper mounts on Amazon, but I went with what was recommended to me by the sexy tech man, Low. The monitors are personal preferences, so obviously you can replace the second, third, or fourth monitor with like a 60 a regular 60 hertz monitor we started laying out my accessories and peripherals like my keyboard mouse xlr etc to prepare for wire managing and you can't forget my two pcs yeah oh, watch out, your stupid face watch out bro watch out watch the, watch the demon work show me what you got so it clips together like this mm -hmm. you guys don't know how to plug it in gpu you guys are idiots oh shit i think i broke it is that enough to uh, claim insurance Yo, chill. That shit's not funny. Why are you making fun of me, bro? So he goes this way. <coughs> Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Ah, shit. Damn, bro. Y'all need me to build PCs? Y'all hit me up. That's only one of them. Oh, fuck. I'm stressed. But you didn't even get this one in. <laughs> 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 Hiding me from my grind. Watch out. Where are you going this way? Cuz I need a. <laughs> what? what are you doing? 
button. What? He stole the fucking button. Why would I steal dude? the button? Dude, you just I jumped. I saw him do it. I saw him do it. You did it. You oh, did it on the, the cameras are on too the whole entire time. Y'all wouldn't be able to You ready to be in an orange jumpsuit or what? What the fuck? We organized the wires into sections and came up with a route under the desk to hide them. For our wire managing, we used zip ties, power strips, extension cables, and large cable trays. I'm sure you can find a couple things laying around your house, so that way you don't have to spend more money. If not, I'll link what I use in the description down below. I wanted to distinguish my setup from basic college student setups. Lo has some extra acoustic panels laying around in his closet, so we might as well use them. We made a layout for the design. I wanted these panels to have an elevated look with some RGB. With extra cardboard laying around, I instantly thought of an idea. Let's attach cardboard to the panels to elevate them. We can do that. So, let me get the hot glue gun. And look at this contraption. After attaching the cardboard, we followed up with some RGB along the edges. Now we just have to test and see if it works. And, oh! 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 oh. oh. Wait, 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 flip it real quick, flip it. Look at the, I like this. Oh, wow, that's fire. Damn, Damn daddy, my late ass reaction. Damn. First, first time, first time. Damn! Oh, I like how it like on the corners. Yeah, exactly, that's what I was thinking. You feel me? Big brain. But at the same time, it wouldn't have big brain if I didn't have you. You right. But I'm gonna give you so big brain two. tonight. Whoa. I'll tell you what. We can put the tape on the wall. Or put the tape on there first, put the level there. When it's level, then just fucking line it up with this shit. Boom! Okay. One, two, three. Hold it for like a good couple minutes. She's actually coming. Mm. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I think it'd be better if we just put everything so individually. Yeah. What does it look so crooked? Okay, well, we still got two more panels that we're, we don't know where to put yet most likely on the left right here and one on the right Okay For the final part of the video to top it off. We got a big ass shelf from Ikea We marked the center screwed in the mount and pushed it in you can decorate the shelf however you want But I went with the basic route with some canvas paintings. That was my canvas painting Yes, sir This is about perfect, yeah. Bird? Yup. Look to your left. Oh, Ooh. shit. You fuck with it? That's heat. But everything hitting him in slow motion right now. That is crazy. <laughs> 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 Obviously you can find better or cheaper things according to your budget. The next video I'll be working on is my room tour, so subscribe to stay updated. We're almost at 100k. I appreciate this opportunity once again, and if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do.